Okay, what we're doing here is doing some uh, research on the uh, magnetic uh, domains of a, of a real magnet. This is a uh, this is a magnet from a microwave oven. It's a ceramic magnet. It's, it goes around the uh, magnetron. You know, I was watching some uh, a video by uh, I guess Tom Bearden recorded. Uh, John Benini was in the room. Uh, with uh, Floyd Sweet, Floyd Sparky Sweet. Anyhow, what he uh, was doing was finding the resonant frequency of the magnet. And uh, we'll get a link to the uh, video so you can see it for yourself. But we were doing some tests and trying to figure out uh, if we could find the resonance here by the normal way we test for a coil resonance. We actually have a resistor here. Yeah, let's see if you can see that. Resistor is a 1K resistor. Get the probe here. It's not grounded. This, in this case, this probe is not grounded. Just the uh, high lead, and then uh, goes to the uh, the magnet, the coil, and we have a function generator. This is actually a BK. We uh, were running the sine wave originally. Uh, That's what he was doing. He was also talking about capacitor discharge, so he might have been pulsing it. Uh, we'll get into that in, in a while. But anyhow, what we wanted to do was see if we could find resonance here. But I found a funny phenomenon it looks like the uh the mri what i'm going to do i'm going to put my hand over this thing like this and as i get closer you're going to see and we get some spikes up here spikes and if i put it hard enough it actually raises that whole scope up and this is just by moving my hand up and down i'll show you what i'm doing this is all i'm doing move my hand up and down also we get more uh this is a uh, current transformer here hooked up to the coil also. You can see we'll get more amperage out as we we uh, interact with this. And the funny thing is, too, these lines here, they're kind of squiggling at the top. If I ground one of my hands, that line will actually straighten out at the end there. And I'll lose a little bit of amperage when I do that. Anyhow, we're going to put a link to the to the Sparky Sweet video. And what he was doing was uh, he had a, say, a flat magnet. And then what he would do, in fact, John Benini was helping him. He put a piece of metal in the middle of that thing, hit it with an audio frequency amplifier that was uh, being run by a sine wave frequency generator like this here. And then once it actually hit the frequency, it would, it would resonate. Then you'd take that thing and put it inside of a inside this coil, and here with another coil from the bottom, and then set the uh, frequency of that thing at 60 cycles, so he could basically extract energy at 60 cycles. And uh, it's pretty interesting. So there you have it.